Hello everyone and welcome to Mint Owl Studio. Today I'm making a card with the Bundles of Joy stamp set. I'm starting with a piece of white cardstock. This measures 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. And I have the medium dot stencil from Simon Says Stamp. I'm just placing this down with some washi tape. And then I'm going to apply some white embossing paste. I'm not doing anything fancy with it. I'm not coloring it. I'm just keeping it white and applying it onto my cardstock. I'm using a palette knife and I'm spreading it all across the stencil. I want to get a smooth and even coat on there and I want to make sure that the stencil is completely covered. So I'll just keep spreading that out and making sure that all of the areas have some embossing paste on them. As I mentioned, we're, I'm just keeping it white, but you could always color it with a little bit of Distress Ink if you want some colored texture in your background. So once so I'm done, I'm going to pick up my stencil and then clean up that embossing paste so that it doesn't dry. Next I'm taking this die cut circle that I used um, from the Simon Says Stamp Stitch Circle die set and I die cut out a piece of white cardstock and I'm stamping the wreath with the Lemon Chiffon ink. It's a really light yellow color. Next I'm going to stamp my animal, so I'm using the cow image. These are such cute little animals and they make adorable baby cards. So I'm inking this up with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink and I'm stamping this on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. I also went ahead and stamped the banner with a sentiment in it and the two bunches of roses. So I'm coloring this in with my Copic markers. I'm making this a yellow card just so that it can be used for either a boy or a girl. Um, so it works well for both. I used the Y11, the Y13, and the Y15 on this. And then I'm going to color in the cow with a little bit of gray. But I'm going to make the spots black with the N10 and then color in the cow with the C1. And then I'll go ahead and color in the nose with the RV10. And I just went over it with the C1 so that it wasn't such a bright pink color. So for the roses, I'm going to color in the leaves with the YG61. And then I'll add a little bit of shading with the YG63. And then I'll take my YG61 once again and blend those colors out. So the pink I'm going to use for the leaves is the R20, which is called Blush. I'm just coloring in the entire flower image. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shading with the R22. And then I went ahead and fussy cut all of these images out. So now it's time to go ahead and put a little bit of embellishment on my card. I have this white thread and it's just regular white quilting thread. You can get any cheap stuff from the crafting store. And I'm just going to place this on the back of my die cut circle. I'll staple it with my tiny attacher. I'm going to go ahead and attach my embossing paste piece onto a white A2 size card base. Uh, the embossing paste is completely dried at this point. You don't want to do this while it's still wet. And then I'll attach my circle there with the um, thread behind it, and then I'll place it right onto my card. I'm kind of just arranging it and pulling out little bunches of those strings so that they show from behind the card. It's just another little embellishment to add to your card to really make that circle pop. And if you don't like any parts of the thread, you can just tuck them right underneath and stick them down to the adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of my little colored images on my card. I'm just going to put a little adhesive with the Tombow Mono Multi Glue on the back of each of those. I'm 
and then I can place them down and those staples will get covered up so don't worry about whether those are showing or not on your card. So first I'm going to place the roses down and I'm just using my tweezers because they're little images to work with. And then I'm going to place the little cow right on top of those. And the nice thing about using a liquid adhesive with these is that you do have a little bit of time to move them around on your card if you don't quite like where they're placed. And then I'll place my sentiment down right below the flowers and the cow. So for some final embellishments, I'm going to add sequins from the Snowflake mix. And both the stamp set and the sequins will be linked below if you're interested in them. You can check them out in the Mint Owl Studio store. So I'm just going to place these sequins onto my card, and I apologize that part of it got cut off. And then I'll adhere them down with my multimedia matte finish adhesive. I just place a little dot behind each sequin and then press it down into place and it's a really strong adhesive and it holds them really well even in the mail. Alright and then that is my finished card for today so I really hope you guys enjoyed this baby card tutorial using the Bottles of Joy stamp set. Make sure to check out the Mint Owl Studio store for all of our stamps and embellishments and also follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!